Some viewers may find this disturbing. If I could give you guys one solitary warning, it would be to turn off the video right now. <sighs> Everyone barfs, including you, Hector Flanagan. This will totally make him barf. The giraffe birth is one of nature's most unique and breathtaking scenes. Never barfing? Th that's like saying there's no sky. That's like saying our belief in barf is a lie. I'm just gonna say it. This show is awful. I'm not even gonna be nice about it. This show makes my skin crawl. Y you know how I keep saying it's not the worst ever? That's because it's supposed to build the impact when we get to the worst ever. And this show is the worst of the lot. It, it has to be the worst of the lot. I pray to any god there is that there is no Nicktoon worse than this one. Sanjay and Craig is... I don't even know how to describe how bad this one is. Back when I started reviewing for 2013 and 2014, I had a lot of weaknesses as a reviewer. One of them was being overly hostile and mean, and there are a lot of shows that I was extremely hostile towards that didn't really deserve it. It's come to my conclusion, though, that there are a couple of shows that I had the actual problem where I was much too nice. The first one was Powerpuff Girls 2016. I was optimistic that that show was just finding its bearings and would get better as time went on. It got worse, and it degraded into a repulsive show with terrible writing destroying the franchise and filled with, let's just call them creepy undertones. It's party time! <laughs> My prince? <sighs> The other show I was too nice on was Sanjay and Craig, apparently. Oh no, I got it all over the carpet! Don't worry about that, players, I got your back. Oh yeah, it's really in there. But I stepped in dog poo! Problem solved! Back in the day, I did say that Breadwinners was worse, but that's because I wasn't all that thorough. Back then, when I did talk about a show, I didn't look very far into it. Sometimes, I only watched a couple episodes, or in the worst case scenario, only one episode. I mean, it should have been pretty obvious that I wasn't the most up and up on this show back then, considering I got the names of Sanjay and Craig backwards. Full disclaimer, I may get their names backwards in this video too, but I don't give a shit, because this show doesn't deserve any of my shits. It has enough shits of its own. The episode that I did take a look at back then was far baby, and that episode definitely wasn't as bad as Breadwinner's Love Loaf, or any of the other Breadwinner's episodes that I watched, and yes, I did watch several, even back then. However, the episode on Barfable, which I didn't watch back then, is just about the worst thing that I've ever seen. No, I am not exaggerating. I would not be surprised if I found that episode on Ren and Stimpy's Adult Party cartoon. I was not able to sit through that 11-minute cartoon episode in one sitting. This is something I cannot say about even the worst episodes of any other Nicktoon so far. Pound for pound, Sanjay and Craig is the worst worst. It, it just has to be. I refuse to accept a reality where there is anything worse on Nickelodeon. But maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves. The show stars a boy named Sanjay and his pet snake named Craig, and there is nothing more to this concept because this is an AND show, which is becoming one of my least favorite genres of cartoons. You've seen this genre and you've hated it, even if you don't know what it is. Pickle AND Peanut. It's about two characters named Pickle and Peanut causing hell for everyone around them. Fanboy AND Chum Chum is the same concept with interchangeable characters. Robot AND Monster. Same concept interchangeable characters. True, not every cartoon that uses this titling convention is bad. There's Phineas and Ferb, Tuca and Birdie, Rick and Morty, Tom and Jerry, maybe Cow and Chicken, but the titling convention itself is bad. Can we just talk about this? If I asked you, out of context, you've never seen the show, who is Sanjay? What would you say? You'd say nothing because you know literally nothing about Sanjay. If you do know Sanjay, I feel very, very sorry for you. Even if your show is good, when you use this titling convention, it tells you nothing about the show. Who the hell is Phineas and why the hell should I care? Oh yeah, this show stars Tom. You know, Tom. The one and only Tom in all of television. All of media. You've never seen Tom before. Title should tell me exactly what the show is about. I should not be able to mistake it for any other. I will give Breadwinners a bit of credit here, since they actually put some effort and a clever pun into their title. Even though it is an and show and all but name. But if Breadwinners is putting more effort into something than you, you have a problem. Not helping is that pretty much the stars of every and show are interchangeable. Fanboy and Shum Shum are a bit more annoying than Sanjay and Craig, but Sanjay and Craig are much more disgusting. Disgusting. By the way, when I say gross, I mean really gross. This show is foul and disgusting. This is the show that Ren and Stimpy get stereotyped as. Full wall-to-wall -wall gross out. Every single episode has barf or snot or gross-up close-ups. Do not watch this show while eating. You will not barf as many times as the characters on screen, but I guarantee that you'll probably barf. Yeah, Mega Babies is probably more gross in the grand scheme of things, but that's not saying much. These shows died out decades ago, and for a very good reason. No one wants to watch a character eating a stepped-on sandwich 
sandwich on the floor. Sanjay mentioning that he stepped in dog shit before he stepped on the sandwich, and then the character finishing said sandwich, followed up by another character slobbering with a dog who has a face that looks like an ass. They don't use words like shit or ass in the show, but they might as well. It's not cute. It, it is plain wrong. And yes, I did see more episodes than Unbarfable. Every time I complain about Sanjay and Craig, people defend the show with the giving G, saying it's heartwarming or something and it redeems the show. I'm sorry, but I don't see characters befriending an inanimate giant inflatable gorilla heartwarming. At best, you can call it a farce. I call it overly melodramatic. It feels very much like Son of Stimpy, where John K. decided to make a plot deliberately to pull heartstrings to play a joke on the audience making them feel sad that Stimpy couldn't fart. And yes, if that episode made you sad, that was actually the intention. It was there to make fun of sad cartoon episodes, because John K. wants to kill the concept of storytelling. Let's talk about the art style of Sanjay and Craig. It's done by the same artist as Bob's Burgers, and that's all you're going to hear about it because that's all there is to about it. By same artist, I mean he's basically copy-pasting the same characters. I find this a problem. I think that it's way too similar to Bob's Burgers. I do know that every artist has a style that's kind of like handwriting, something that's hard to break away from, but Bob's Burgers has a very unique, or formally unique art style, and it's just too unique to be cribbed by another show like this. If another show wanted to do a parody of Bob's Burgers, this is the art style that they would use. Most of the classic Kikuba shows looked very similar back in the day, but they did look unique, even though they were on the same network. While you could tell the classic Kikubo made stressed Eric and Duckman if you looked at them, it'd be hard to mistake a screenshot from Rugrats with As Told by Ginger. And classic Kikubo was able to go beyond their own style. They did animate The Simpsons early on. Almost any still from this show you can confuse with the still from Bob's Burgers, plastered with puke and shit. This is a problem because it harms any chance that the show could have for an identity. And yeah, it really doesn't have any of that. The concept of the show cribs on the trends of the time. These characters have nothing going for them. Craig is a snake, and they do some interesting things with that, I guess. He's able to become a knot, and tie things up, and, uh, wear clothes, and turn himself inside out. Gross. But in terms of personality, tell me the difference between these two. I mean, Craig is obviously the Bedouce, the fanboy, and Sanjay is the chum chum of the show, the sway sway. Sanjay is the cow to Craig's chicken. I've seen it, and I do not like it. Although I guess someone out there has to, since this shit lasted for three seasons. I know what you're thinking, this show is for the kids! It's okay if kids like it. Dexter's Laboratory was made for the kids, as was Courage, as was the Powerpuff Girls. The original Ren and Stimpy was, they still hold up. Even on Nickelodeon we have The Loud House, which was made for the kids, and it's fine. People remember and care for these shows today, and still watch them today. When it comes to something like Sanjay and Craig, their audience is gonna grow out of them and move on to something else, leaving this in the dust forever. Don't believe me on that? Even some Something as monumental as Teen Titans Go is now waning in popularity, leaving Cartoon Network in a very precarious position. None of their new episodes crack a million views, and some of them don't even crack half a million. Hell, some of them don't even crack a quarter of a million. This is what happens when you do nothing but try and cash in on modern day trends. Years later, do you care about Sanjay and Craig? I am seriously curious. People who defended the show got five years ago. I'm getting old. Do you still stick by it? I'm sure that some people do, but is anyone gonna say that Sanjay and Craig was my life? I highly doubt it. It was just a show that they watched back in the day that they might have liked. All we're left with is some blip that's gonna be considered an embarrassment in a few years. I know that I didn't get too deep into the nuts and bolts of this one, but that's because there's not much to it. I can't say much that I haven't said about Breadwinners in the past, or Fanboy and Chum Chum, or the million other gross out shows that I've reviewed. There's a reason that I do try to avoid reviewing gross out shows and gross out episodes nowadays, because there usually is no substance to them. And there is none here. Well, no substance might be the wrong word. It's filled with substances, like fart gas, dog shit, old people wrinkles, snot, barf, and some things that are probably better left unmentioned. I've discovered quite a few shows that I don't like in this retrospective, and I think that things like All Grown Up or The Mighty Bee would probably make at least a fine review someday. We can all have fun, you know, mocking it, making fun of it, even if I didn't like the show itself. I'm at least willing to watch them again. As for this show, no, I am never watching Sanjay and Craig again. And this is someone who considered watching more episodes of Alan Gregory, I marathoned the entire series of High School USA, I watched more than one episode of Big Mouth, and I even considered watching more episodes of Adult Party Cartoon. I am never watching another episode of Sanjay and Craig again. Next on Nickelodeon. The great mighty poo, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of tish comes from my chocolate starfish. 
How about some statue, little twat?